Hi, beautiful souls, and welcome to the Hawk and I. A lot has changed in a year. We do pretty much everything now differently than what we were a year or so ago. You know, simple trips to the grocery store are not the same. You know, how we work is not the same, including me. You know, all my one-on-one -on -one sessions um, have been moved over to Zoom, including my workshops and groups. Everything has changed, but what hasn't changed for me is how spirit works. It's all energy. So I don't need to be physically in front of you to have spirit come through. And spirit has even been showing up on Zoom calls. I've had lighting completely go around my my hat my head shoulder to shoulder i've had weird fog show up on zoom calls i've had you know some imagery going on behind me it's been quite profound how the shift for me um has has really kind of given me a whole new level of understanding energy and how spirit connects now, the one thing that has changed a little bit with Spirit, because I'm not going out as much, is the random messages in, in public places. And I, I will admit, I do miss that. I do miss randomly giving messages out in public. But Spirit works relentlessly hard, just the same. And I had a very interesting thing happen to me yesterday. I was doing some housework. And I'm very busy. I had a lot to do because I had taken a couple hours off to accomplish a few things that have been on the back burner, if you will, some chores. And I kept getting a little bit of a tap on my head. And I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm not reading today, so I'm not understanding why spirit's kind of knocking on me. And then my cell phone rang. And um, I wasn't going to answer the call. I was quite busy. My hands were full. And the tapping on my head became very rapid. And I thought, mm, this is interesting. So I answered the phone. And um, the lady on the other end asked for somebody that um, doesn't live in my home. Um, and it wasn't my name. Um, and I said, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. And she said, is this 519 that, and she completes the number. And I said, no, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. And then she said to me, I'm looking at the number that I've dialed. And th this is the number that I've dialed. And I said, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. And then Spirit stepped in. And I was given a name. And I said to her, I have a man named Jim with me. And there was that pause. That pause. She said, Though that's not who I'm calling for. And Spirit continued to talk. Now, Jim was her father who had just passed. He just passed. And the caller was phoning a family member to help sort out some... It was a mess, to be honest with you. You know, his, his affairs weren't in order. There was missing documents. Nobody knew for sure what his last wishes were um, as far as his, as his personal stuff goes. And he began to speak. And the silence on the other end was, was, was just a little uncertain for me. I wasn't sure how this was going to go. Now, the caller... Um, said to me, you know, I am very open and this is the most profound thing that has ever happened to me. And she says, I've spent the last few hours just sobbing in tears, asking for direction from my dad on what to do. Now there was also some unresolved family issues, some things that never got said. And Jim used this phone call to kind of heal some of that. And the caller, you know, kept repeating to me, I can't believe this is happening. I've been asking and asking and asking for help from the other side, from the spirit dimensions as to what to do. Now, Jim did, um, you know, did explain where his, some of his paperwork was. He did explain that his things, his, his requests, his will was in order. It was, he had just not shared the documents with his family and his family didn't even know where to start. Where do, where do you even start looking? It's like a needle in a haystack, right? So he saved them the, the time and, um, you know, the, the stress of, of searching. Now, this caller uh, took a screenshot of the call, of the number that she had dialed and the area code was not even the same. The, the phone number wasn't even at all close, but what was even more interesting was her dad. 
I worked for Bell Canada for many, many years. So, you know, the joke with her was, you know, I, th I think dad just automatically knew how to re redirect the call, you know, Bell Canada operator, <laughs> but it was, you know, it was profound. It was, it was quite profound. I mean, he would have redirected the call anyway, but it was just, um, a little bit of a chuckle that we had that he, uh, he was a Bell Canada worker, it was, which was, which was kind of funny. Spirit does work relentlessly hard and they do extremely well under the current situation with, with not being able to see people one-on-one -on -one with me. You know, if spirit needs to get to you, a message, um, some closure, they have the most amazing ways of bringing messages and signs to you. And it, um, it was one of those moments with spirit. I just, um, had to just kind of wink and uh, wink back at them and say, you know, good work. Good work inter intercepting that call. I hope you enjoyed our little chit chat today and a, a little story on um, on how spirit is just so incredibly relentless. I am wishing you love, light, blessings, and a spirit guided day.